Coaching is a process that helps people achieve their personal or professional goals and in this video I'm going to explain what the potential benefits of coaching are to doctors and why you as a doctor or medical student should consider coaching to help you in your career or even external pursuits, social and personal life. Hi there, I'm Dr. Anthony Llewellyn, the career doctor. A real doctor here to help you navigate easily the challenges in the medical careers processes. So today we're talking about coaching and why so many doctors are now embracing coaching as an aid to improve their goals in life, or indeed becoming coaches themselves, like yours truly. In fact, coaching for doctors is not even really a new thing. Now, Adam Wande, who was perhaps one of the world's most famous doctors and surgeons, wrote about his many years of coaching experiences in The New Yorker in 2011. So in this video, I'm going to cover what coaches do or offer and how this can benefit doctors some of the types of coaching so you can be better informed about the type of coach you might be looking for and of course because we are doctors i'm going to cover what some of the evidence says about coaching in medicine and towards the end i'm going to outline six key reasons why you might as a doctor benefit from coaching by the way i'd be interested to hear from you did you click on this video because you were thinking of hiring a coach what sort of coach are you looking for? Let me know in the comments below. So let's get into it. The coach works with the client to identify areas for improvement, to set goals and create a plan to help you achieve those goals. Coaching is based on the premise that everyone has the ability to grow and improve, and that with the right support, anyone can reach their full potential. So coaching can help doctors to achieve their goals. The coach works with the doctor to identify the goals and then creates a plan with them to help them to achieve these goals. The doctor's coach provides many things. This includes support and guidance along the way and helping the doctor to stay on track. This is important because coaching can help you to learn new skills, to improve your performance and hopefully make some positive changes in your life. So there are many key benefits or advantages to coaching for doctors. These include things like better communication, better time management, better self-awareness and problem solving skills. But coaching can also help doctors to set and achieve personal and professional goals. In addition, coaching can assist doctors to overcome challenges in different areas of their lives, such as outside of their careers or even in personal relationships. There is ample and growing evidence for doctors to use coaching. For example, a 2017 literature review in medical education, which is arguably the world's leading medical education journal, found 21 articles which showed that there was weak to medium strength evidence to support coaching as a method of improving doctor well-being and enhancing non-technical skills, and strong evidence to support coaching as a method to improve technical skills, which kind of makes sense when you think about it as somewhat easier to measure a technique, such as a surgical procedure, than it is to measure, say, someone's overall feeling of purpose or their communication abilities. And on that topic, an even more recent 2019 trial for 88 doctors, which was reported in JAMA, uh, Internal Medicine, showed a significant reduction in emotional exhaustion and overall symptoms of burnout, as well as improvements in overall quality of life and resilience for doctors who undertook coaching. And burnout is certainly one of the main reasons we are now seeking doctors seek out coaching at the moment. With many of my colleagues, such as Dr. Amy Imms from The Burnout Project and Dr. Adam Harrison, offering coaching for burnout for doctors. As I said, there is a growing trend for doctors utilizing coaching for a range of purposes. A brief history of coaching. Now, the first professional coaches were probably sports coaches, and they began to appear in the late 19th century as sports began to take on a more professional nature. Interestingly, one of the world's leading writers on coaching is Tim Galway, and Tim started out as a tennis coach. In his famous book, Coaching and the Inner Game, Tim describes an inner game in our minds that we play with ourselves. It is this game that determines whether we will be successful or not. For some people, this inner game can be a game of self-doubt, self-criticism, and self-defeating thoughts. So by focusing on this inner game, coaches can help doctors to find their own inner wisdom and strength and use it to achieve their goals. Coaches can help doctor clients to overcome their fears, doubts, and limiting beliefs, and to tap into their full potential. Now, coaching is now a profession that helps people achieve their personal and professional goals and improve performance. Coaches work with many clients to help them identify their goals, create action plans to achieve those goals, and provide support and encouragement and accountability along the way. So what types of coaching are available for doctors? Well, there are many different types of coaches, each with their own unique approach to helping people achieve their goals. Some common types of coaching for doctors include performance coaching, business coaching, executive coaching, and career coaching. But doctors may also seek out coaching to help with challenges outside of their careers, such as life coaching or relationship coaching. There are two main types of coaching approach. 
These are called directive and non-directive coaching. Now, directive coaching is when the coach tells the doctor what to do next and how to do it. For example, a tennis coach will instruct a player on how to improve on their serve. And a job interview coach gives out instructions about how to approach and answer certain interview questions. So this is commonly something I do with my job focused clients when I'm preparing them for a job interview. Now, non-directive coaching is when the coach asks the client questions and lets the client figure out for themselves the answers. This is often what happens when you engage an executive coach or a life coach. So this is the approach that I will take with clients who are seeking me out for more career development needs. Six key benefits of coaching for doctors. Now, before we get into the six key benefits, if you are getting value out of this video, I'd encourage you to watch more of my videos, like the one up above here or the one at the end of this video. And if you're on your second or third or fourth or more of my videos, then you really ought to have subscribed by now. So I'm just checking that you are indeed subscribed and you've turned on notifications fully so you don't miss out on another one of my videos. Okay, on to the key benefit number one. Number one, coaching for doctors can improve communication. Coaching can improve your communication by teaching you how to better express yourself and importantly to listen to others. Through coaching skills you can learn how to use things like body language, tone of voice and words to effectively communicate your thoughts and feelings. This improved communication will help in both your career as well as personal life. Number two, coaching for doctors can improve personal management. Coaching can help doctors to improve their personal management skills in a number of ways. Firstly, it can help you to identify your goals and priorities and develop a plan to achieve them. Secondly, it can help you to develop specific skills such as effective time management and organization skills so that you can make the most of your time and resources. Finally, coaching for doctors can also help you to develop better communication and interpersonal skills, which are essential for effective personal management. Number three, coaching for doctors can improve your self-awareness. When you engage in coaching, it can help you develop a greater sense of self-awareness, which can be beneficial in both, again, your personal and professional life. By working with a coach, you can learn to identify your strengths and weaknesses, as well as your triggers and blind spots. As I say, this can help you make better decisions both in your personal life and in your professional life. In addition, self-awareness can help you to manage stress and emotions more effectively. Number four, coaching for doctors can improve problem solving skills. Coaching can help you develop your problem skills to a high level in a number of ways. First off, coaching can help you learn how to identify and define problems more effectively. Secondly, coaching can encourage your creativity and risk taking to help you develop creative thinking and brainstorming skills so that you can generate more effective solutions to problems. Thirdly, coaching can help you learn how to evaluate potential solutions to problems more effectively so that you can choose the best possible option. And finally, coaching can help you develop implementation and follow through skills so that you can successfully execute your chosen solution. Number five, coaching for doctors can help clarify your goals and achieve them. Oftentimes, clients come to coaching as they sense a need to change, but they're not quite able to identify what the change is or should be. Doctors may have multiple goals or areas that they want to improve on. By asking the right questions, a coach can help you identify your goals and develop a plan to achieve them. A coach can also provide support and accountability to help you stay on track. Oftentimes coaching is about unlocking a person's potential. Most coaches believe that everyone has the potential to be great at something. It's just a matter of finding out what that is and then working hard to develop that talent or skill. Coaching can enable doctors to identify the potential and then work with them to develop it. Finally, number six, coaching for doctors can help overcome challenges and obstacles. So coaching for doctors can help you to overcome challenges and obstacles by providing you with the tools and resources that you need to succeed. A coach can help you identify your goals, develop a plan to achieve them, and provide accountability. If you're facing a difficult situation or challenge, coaching can help you find a way through this. So that brings us to the important question, will coaching work for me or will coaching work for you? So the answer to this question is that the effectiveness of coaching depends on a number of factors, including on the coach's side, their experience and style, and the doctor's side, their goals and motivations, and the rapport between the two. That said, coaching can be an effective way to help people make positive changes in their lives, whether they're looking to improve their career prospects, relationships, or health. If you're considering hiring a coach, do your research to find someone you feel confident can help you to achieve your objectives. 
Some doctors I know feel that coaching is an invaluable investment, while others may feel that it's not quite worth the cost. There is a reason why most professional tennis players employ a coach, as they believe that a coach can help them improve their performance and win more competitions. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to seek out coaching as a service depends on you, the doctor, and your specific goals. If you are struggling in a particular area of your life and feel that coaching could help you overcome some challenges, then it's likely to be worth pursuing coaching. But it's also important to understand that hiring a coach requires a commitment on the part of you, the coaching client. On the flip side, if you are generally content with your life and do not feel that coaching would offer any significant benefits, then coaching, at least for now, is probably not worth it. So that's why coaching has benefits for doctors. If you want to learn more about coaching for doctors, then check out my related blog post on this topic, which I will link up here and in the description below. I would like to personally thank you for watching this video. Feel free to hang around and watch another one. It's coming up in the credits soon. And I will see you in the next video.